What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of What the Duck Auto and today we are not looking at a car. This is not really a how-to video, it's just a boat that I just purchased. Uh, it's a 88 Bass Tracker. It's come equipped with a 60 horsepower two-stroke Evan Rude three-cylinder. Not sure of the displacement size. I'll just show you all around the boat. It does need some work. Uh, it's not a perfect boat. Uh, so in here, fuel cell, uh, two-stroke oil cell, holds two batteries. I got the other battery in the back of my truck. Uh, this is for like trolling motor and lights, and this battery's for starting. I'll put a running clip in the video. <laughs> Some storage here. This is the Minnakota trickle charger that came with the boat. I believe all everything in the back this way is all aluminum, and then the front is wood. It's got tons of storage. Uh, here's a life well, decent size. Uh, not that I would utilize it ever, I don't eat fish. Just like two fish. Walk around over here. Storage compartment. Uh, the seats need to be replaced. Found some uh, Academy. Uh, basically, any outdoor shops got them for like you can get cheap ones for like thirty bucks. So what I'm gonna end up doing is replacing those. It's got a new switch panel right here because the old ones, I guess, rotted out or whatever. I didn't really, I got it from the guy I work with. Storage. Uh, let me see if I can get that one open. Well, here's a little update on the 88 Bass Tracker. Uh, I haven't really done any videos on doing this. I'm probably not going to, uh, just because it's not really like a boating channel. If it's something that y'all want to see, let me know. Uh, but I'm currently recarpeting the front deck um, if you're seeing some low spots, that's just how the old plywood was. That's where the seat goes. So, I mean, it, it is a low spot, but it's not like rotted wood. And all I did was I went to Lowe's, and I don't really care how it looks like right in here. I mean, I am not a professional boater, if you will. But, um,. I got a couple things I'll show y'all what I did. I went to Walmart and purchased the Starbright Ultimate Aluminum Cleaner and Restore. And uh, I guess it's like the main ingredient, sulfuric acid in it. And you just spray it on the boat and uh, let it sit there. You can scrub it. You don't have to. Just spray it on there and let it sit for three to five minutes and then sp pressure wash it off. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and these are just all 10 pound weights from a old weight bench set. And you see, I got a little bit of glue on the carpet right here, but I'm, I don't really care. And this drawer is still a pain in the butt to open. Uh, here's what I've been using to clamp around the edges to hold the carpet while the glue dries is these. I couldn't see spending $50 in dirt and clamps spend two bucks on clothespin. So I went to Home Depot. I got some indoor outdoor carpet. It's a six by eight roll. And it's 17 bucks for that. I got this Robert 6700 indoor outdoor carpet adhesive. Uh, there's this kind and there's another kind. We'll see how this holds up. This is like 17 bucks. I redid this kick panel, which has got the, there's a blue LED light in there. I can change it out if I want to. It's also got the trolling, mo trolling motor wires go through there. And then trims, trim buttons for the... So I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you how I have it. Basically, this is what I did for everything except for the actual deck itself. You just take the cupboard, I guess, storage container lid off. 
and all that was holding mine on was uh, four to the rod locker has like seven it just has phillips head screws and you just take them out once you take them out and you have to prep them i just used one of these husky brand doesn't have to be this brand one of these seven and ones uh this one's probably more than a seven and one that's a 15 and one but it's the same thing as seven and one get one of these just scrape all the old carpet off scrape you don't have to get the glue perfect you don't have to use mineral spirits to get all the old glue off or anything um and then i went to walmart and purchased these these were like two dollars and something cents for all of these and these so i have enough to do two of these small ones when i did the rod locker door i had to use all of them to go all the way around just like this and all i'm doing all i'm using that for is just to keep it in place while the glue dries uh so it looks good and that's how i have that done so hope this helps anyone that's trying to recarpet their boat after i'm done i'll cut a hole out right here and put the handle and lock in place just coming along all right it's about 9 30 at night i finished this up about a couple hours ago this is just the front deck uh and cost of recarpeting just this area right here uh so i got two rolls of eight foot by six foot indoor outdoor carpet which was 17 a roll so that's 34 oh no yeah 34 and uh the glue was 17 and that 15 and one scraper tool was four dollars and then i had it i don't know what happened to it i guess i lost it uh it is a i guess a glue trial with little jagged teeth that scrape a thin line of glue that costs like three bucks and that was all at the home depot so uh so 51 bucks to do the front that's just carpet and glue and a little bit of uh elbow grease a little bit of know-how just got to be able to uh it's kind of a pain in the butt once you carpet over the holes on both sides because it's tucked underneath as well and the same thing with these and the hinges except the carpet is behind the hinge and so you have to screw through it's pretty difficult it's not that bad not undoable there she is there's the front and then i used some uh cleaner to take all the oxidization off the boat it's looking pretty good uh, basically what the plan was for me anyway is to work from the front to the back we establish that it runs so all that's good i'm gonna get some more gas for it but next thing i'm gonna tackle this little console i have the visor right here I need to reattach i need to put all the gauges back in i need to hook all the gauges up they're not hooked up and then tackle this mess of wires down there and see what we can do and then i'm gonna get some seats uh probably get them from academy they have some seats that are like 30 bucks a piece Walmart's actually got some pretty decent looking seats as well they have some of these which i don't know if i want to keep this style it's nice i guess it would be i guess i probably will they have those as well same exact at walmart and then i'll tackle all the carpet back here <sighs> here's that stuff that i used That was 20 bucks at Walmart. I got to re-rivet the hinge onto that. Work in progress, but she's getting there. <laughs> 